Over 30 million people take aspirin or clopidogrel daily, but what if I told you that specific natural compounds can actually provide similar protection without the bleeding risks? So here's the evidence-based truth about natural blood thinners. But first understand this, I'm not telling you to stop your medication. These alternatives are for prevention. So that said, let's examine what actually works according to research. So let's start with narokinase as it leads the pack. Dosage could range from 2,000 to 8,000 fibrin units twice daily. And research shows it dissolves existing clots and prevents new ones, something neither aspirin nor cl clopidogrel can actually do. Japanese studies found 60% reduction in clot formation. Take an empty stomach two hours away from food. Next is garlic extract, not raw garlic. Dosage 1200 milligrams, aged garlic extract daily, as it reduces platelet aggregation by 30%. It has to be age extracts for stability, and studies show it equals low-dose aspirin for primary prevention. So next on the list is high-dose omega-3. Dosage between 3 to 4 grams of EPA and DHA daily as it reduces platelet stickiness by 20%. And the nice thing about it is it works through different pathways than medications. Next, we have curcumin with purpurine. Dosage is about 1,000 milligrams of curcumin and about 10 milligrams of purpurine. It does inhibit the same pathway as clopidogrel. Absorption is actually critical. Needs purpurine or liposomal form. Next, we have cayenne pepper. Dosage is about 1 teaspoon, which is about 3 grams of 40,000 heat units or higher. It does contain capsaicin that actually prevents platelet aggregation and must be high potency and organic is a must to avoid any type of pesticides. So for protocol and for maximum effect, research does suggest combining. So in the morning, you have narokinase, 2,000 to 4,000 fibrin units plus omega-3 of 2 grams. Afternoon, aged garlic of 600 milligrams plus curcumin of 500 milligrams. Evening, narokinase again of 2,000 to 8,000 fibrin units plus omega-3 of 2 grams. And with meals, you can add cayenne pepper of 1 teaspoon. So this provides a full 24-hour coverage through multiple mechanisms. And of course, never combine these with prescription blood thinners without checking with your doctor because that will actually uh, thin out your blood way too much and it could actually be at risk of bleeding. So definitely as well, stop all um, supplementation or even medication about two weeks prior to any type of surgeries. And do monitor for easy bruising, or bleeding, of course. As for biomarkers, I would highly suggest uh, to keep track of your platelet aggregation test, uh, D-dimmer levels, fibrinogen, PT over INR uh, ratio of transitioning from warfarin. And of course, try to work with someone that actually understand functional medicine uh, as a doctor, or you can always feel free to DM me directly and I'm more than happy to help you. And here's what most don't know. These natural compounds often work better for prevention than treatment. They're typically about 30 to 50% as potent, if not higher, than pharmaceutical and with much fewer side effects. And the key is consistency and proper dosing. And these supplements aren't candy. They're powerful compounds that affect your blood. Quality matters enormously. And if you do have an existing heart disease condition, do reach out to me so therefore we can have a custom protocol uh, based on your lifestyle and based on your current medication intake. And based on the information, the best blood thinner is the one that works for your unique biology without causing harm, whether that's pharmaceutical or natural, depends on your individual risk factors.